Hi, my name is Emma Barnett and welcome to An Essential Journey. I'm really pleased to have you here. Um, I hope you managed to find what you're looking for on this website today. Um, but please hit the contact button at the top there if you have any questions and I will make sure I get back to you and answer your questions. Um, a little bit about me. I have been using uh, doTERRA essential oils now for about two years or just shy of two years. Um, I use them pretty much every single day um, from everything from my cleaning products um, into my um, um, shampoos, conditioner, makeup. Um, I like to diffuse with them um, and occasionally will take them internally as well. Um, I, I, I came across them pretty much maybe a little bit like how you're doing now. I don't know if you've just put Google and doTERRA essential oils and my website has come up. Um, that's how I came across them. It was more, um, my husband asked me one year what I wanted for my birthday and I said, oh, I might try some essential oils. I've always had an interest in health and well-being um, from a very young age and I've been very fortunate to come from a home where pretty much everything was homemade. Um, we never had any packet food in our house or in our lunch boxes um, or anything like that. Everything, you know, we always had treats and everything like that, but everything was homemade. Um, so I've been very fortunate, um, to, you know, to have that right from the start. And I understand now as a parent myself, the benefits of that and, you know, the, the, the outcomes that that can have on a family. Um, my introduction into um, doTERRA essential oils was sort of me looking at... Um, like I say, it was by chance my husband wanted to know what I wanted for my birth and I thought I'll go into that. But I was also at the same time had started to really be more conscious about sort of low-tox living. Um, and so I was already doing that from a, a, a food perspective. Um, you know, I was already buying whole foods and things like that and making stuff at home. Um, but I wanted to get into it as well from the, the cleaning products and how we could have a low-tox household and looking at you know the chemicals that are in the house and what we're putting on our skin and stuff like that. So um, it, I'd started to think more down that line. And um, when I, my first purchase, when I purchased the doTERRA kit was the Home Essentials kit. And that was sort of my introduction into that uh, low tox, non tox living where possible. Um, like I said, I use them pretty much every day. Um, you know, my, my hand soap, I make my own hand soap, foaming soap. And I will put essential oils in that. So during the winter months, um, I usually put in some some On Guard, which is the protective blend. Um, and so every time myself or the kids or my husband, you know, we wash our hands, um, we're getting the benefits of the essential oil. Um, I now also make all my own home cleaning products. Um, so like this is my glass cleaner, which I'll use on my windows and my glass coffee table. And really, basically, this is vinegar, water, and um, lemon essential oil. A couple of drops of that in. Um, it smells great, but also does the job. You know, lemon is great. Es essential oil is great for cutting through grease, um, getting rid of sticky residue. Um, it's also a very um, uplifting blend and smells beautiful. It smells really clean and fresh, and as, as you want when you're cleaning your home. And it does a wonderful job. It's also got antibacterial properties in it as well, so it can cut, help with that. Um, I also use my essential oils in my um, skincare and hair care. Um, so rosemary is a great one. Um, and quite often you'll find when you're buying shampoos or conditioners, even if you, you know, you're buying store-bought, um, which I still do, by the way, um, you'll find sometimes they have rosemary in them. And rosemary is a great one to assist in uh, hair growth and, and, you know, especially if you stimulate your scalp, you know, so when you're um, conditioning your, I add mine to my conditioner. Um, so if you are, you know, and you're going to leave it on your hair for a bit, but you're giving your help, your scalp a good massage and that the rosemary can assist in hair growth. And um, as you can see, I'm transitioning to the grey. And so I've been keeping my hair short to help with that, that process faster, but I've been using this and my hair has grown exceptionally fast. Um, you know, even my hairdresser can't believe how fast my hair is growing. And I, I put it down to this little beauty here. Um, I also just love the smell of it. I, I personally like all the woody smells and this is a great rosemary. It's lovely. Um, I also use, um, even in my um, makeup, in my mascara, I will add a drop of lavender and a drop of rosemary 
give it a good shake, you know, mix the wand in a little bit. Um, not only does it make your mascara last longer, the, the longevity of it, um, but, but the rosemary will help your eyelashes grow. Um, you know, um, I like to put geranium in and lavender um, in my face cream and it acts wonders, you know, for um, blemishes, skin irritations, that type of thing. It acts as a real calming, you know, can help with redness, that type of thing. Um, and those are just a few ways that I use them in my house every single day. Um, obviously, I like to diffuse the oils as well, um, particularly at night time. You know, I make sure that the diffusers are on in the bedrooms. And those are usually, I, I will top those up with the, the more calming, uh, restful um, oils, you know, to ensure that everybody gets a good night's sleep. Um, but sometimes I'll put them on on a Saturday morning, you know, when I'm trying to get around the house, get some of the housework done. You know, I get the radio on, the music pumping, and I'll put the oils in, and I'll usually put something that's a little bit more uplifting. Um, so maybe some more of the citrus blends and things like that, you know, that give you, it's just, they, they smell fresh, they smell great, but they're also really uplifting and energizing. That's the word I was looking for, energizing. Um, and that's, yeah, so like I said, there's so many more uses I mean on top of all the other health benefits you know those are uses that you can use that are practical uses that you can use them around your home um, my job um, should you be purchasing any of the essential oils my job is to help to make sure that you get the most out of those essential oils so when you sign up and you um, purchase your oils I'll make sure you're linked into all my Facebook groups and Instagram groups and things like that um, and that's where I put a lot of information about um, about the essentials and uses and how best to get the use out of them and the, the different th ways that you can use them, you know, from the topical use, you know, and what the benefits of using them topically to the aromatic uses, you know, different diffuser blends and the benefits of those. Um, and how you can use them around your house and incorporate that, incorporate them, sorry, into your everyday living. So, yeah, that's how I came about them. I love them. I use them like say, there's not a day goes by that I don't use them. And I certainly, I will be, when I purchased them, never thought they'd have such a huge impact in my house um, at the time, um, two years ago. And yeah, here we are, like I say, I use them every single day. Um, and they are my go-to for any sort of the ailments, you know, kids, tummy aches, things like that. I will use my essential oils first. Um, so yes, so welcome to the page. Happy shopping. Give me a shout out. Like I say, hit the contact me if you have any questions. I'd love to hear from you and welcome to the website, An Essential Journey. I look forward to working with you and chatting with you soon. Cheers. Hey, bye.